We've come across an obstacle right here, bunker, and we got a, some elevation up onto the green. So we pretty much only have one option, and it's to pitch the ball on. Pitching is, is defined as where the ball has a lot of air time, so there's a lot of carry and there's less run. To pitch about this distance, which is about 30 yards to the flag, we swing about this length here, like a half swing. But we go all the way through it like that. So a lot of times people ask me, oh, what's the difference between a 60 yard and a 30 yard pitch shot? And the main difference is speed you come through. The length of swing can be pretty much the same, but the speed is the key indicator here and how we control distance. So a 30 yard shot, you're gonna come through a little bit more slower but the length of swing can be the same. But the 60 yard pitch shot can be the same length of swing, but just a little, little faster coming through it. So a little practice swing, try and rehearse the shot first, back to here and all the way through. So we can see where my club has gone through and how my body is looking right here. I'm facing the flag. This is how we get consistent with, with pitching. So to summarize again on the pitching shot, you can use a sand wedge or a pitching wedge. It doesn't really matter too much. If it's a very high elevation, then take your, take your sand wedge because the ball will go a little bit higher. As part of the routine, try and visualize the shot. Take into consideration any slopes, if there is any. Feel your practice swing, and then go in and try and exe execute the same feeling. You notice how I'm set up here, my feet are pretty close together because I'm around the green. And on the practice swing, we go through and complete the swing to about half, half level here. The ball's pretty much in the middle and the hands stay pointing to my belly button right here. This gets the ball up in the air.